In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basic steps for creating your first social calc spreadsheet. I'll begin inside a social text workspace, in this case, the one from my company's marketing team. Clicking New Page brings up the Create Content dialog box. Here I can choose to create either a wiki page or a spreadsheet. I can also choose to start with a blank page or begin using an already created template. For example, project tracking, expense reporting, time cards, or any other business process you use spreadsheets for. I'm going to choose to create a new blank spreadsheet, which starts the social calc editor. The first thing to do is to give the spreadsheet a name, such as 2010 Marketing Budget. Now, below the title are the toolbars. The first toolbar has buttons for actions such as undo and redo, copy, cut, and paste, and for adding tags to pages. This toolbar is always displayed. To the right, there are three expandable toolbars. The first contains formatting options for cells and, for and fonts. There's an advanced formatting button, which brings up a dialog box where you can choose from a greater selection of formatting choices, such as setting advanced attributes for borders and cell padding. The Align toolbar enables you to control the horizontal and vertical alignment. And the Move toolbar is where you choose to duplicate cells, uh, formulas, and add, delete, move, and merge rows or columns. We'll see more about this later. In the second row, you can click on a button for summing a range of cells, or you can bring up the Insert Formula dialog box, which displays a list of available formulas, such as statistics, financial, and many others. When you choose a formula, help text is displayed, which shows the available parameters. You can also name a range of cells, add a comment, and sort the data. So now let's begin by creating our budget report. I'll start by entering a few line items. Advertising, web design, and lastly, PR, public relations. Now I can drag a column to change its width, so I'll make B a bit wider to fit the items. And I know I'm going to want column totals and a grand total. And along the top, I'm going to want column labels for the quarter. So Q1 through Q4, and a column for the row totals, and one for the percentage that each line item contributes. Now it's time to start adding our data. For Q1, my budget's $10,000. Now if I enter 10,000, SocialCalc recognizes this as a number and automatically write justifies the cell for me. If I enter dollar sign 10,000, you'll see that SocialCalc recognizes this as currency and formats it appropriately. Similarly, for web design, my Q1 budget is going to be $7,500, and for PR it's going to be $5,000. Now since I know all these cells are going to be currency, rather than typing in the dollar sign each time, I can simply change the format for all the cells at once. I'll select the range and choose Format, and then select the currency format. And now they're set. Now for next year's plan, I'm going to estimate that each, each line item's budget is going to increase 10% per quarter. So I enter a formula by typing in equals 1.1 and then multiply. And now I can either click on the cell I want or use the arrow keys to select the cell or the range. I'm going to choose the Q1 value to the left of where I am and hit enter. And we can see that it calculates to $11,000. Now I don't want to repeat this manually for Q3 and Q4, so what I do is I select the range and then I go to the move toolbar. And from there, I choose the very important Fill Right toolbar. This duplicates the formula I entered, but increments it to use the proper cell values. So for example, Q3 increments over Q2, Q4 increments over Q3. Now I can do the same thing for the web design and PR items by selecting the entire range of cells at the top, and this time instead of choosing right uh, to fill right, I'll choose to fill down, and again, SocialCalc will automatically fill in each of the cells with the proper formulas. Now the next thing I want to do is sums. So to sum my Q1 values, I can either place my cursor below the list, or I can select the specific range and click the sum button. To repeat the formula, again I'll use the fill right action. 
and here we have all the totals. I can do the same thing to total a value, values across a row, such as those for advertising. But this time, instead of using the sum button, I'm going to type in equals sum, and we can see that the parameters are filled in. I select C5 through F5 and hit enter, and oops, I forgot to close the parentheses, so I'll go to the formula bar and fix that. And now we can see that the total is filled in. I'll fill down again to compute the totals for web design and PR. Now the final sum I want to complete is that for all of the items. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to enter equal sum. And again, I'll choose the range, this time remembering to close the parentheses. And here we can see that my total will be just over $100,000. Now I want to give the cell a name, and I do so by clicking on the Name Range Toolbar icon. I'm going to give it a name of, let's do, Grand Total. And then next to that, I'm going to enter in a description. Now in this case, I'm just naming a single cell, but I could also name ranges of cells in the same way. And you'll see just in a moment why this is a powerful thing to be able to do. I can also add a comment to a cell. So I select the cell and click Comment, and this way I can provide things like details, notes, or follow-up items. When I enter the text that I want, I simply click Done. And cells that have comments in them, I'm going to display a small red triangle to the, in the top right corner. Now the last thing I want to calculate is the percentage each line item contributes to my total budget for the year. To do this, I type in Equals and click on the cell for the advertising total. But now, instead of dividing by C10, I'm going to use the name we just defined a moment ago. So I'm going to do G5 divided by grand total. And here we see 0.44444. I'll fill in that formula down so that it applies to the other values as well. And we can see there 0.3s and 0.2s. Now to make this look better, I'll change the number style to display these values as percentages using the Format Toolbar again. And there we have it, the first draft of my 2010 marketing budget. But before I share it with my team, I want to add some quick formatting to make the report look good. I'll start by adding grid lines, selecting the cell ranges that I want, and then clicking on the Borders On and Off Toolbar icon. And here we can see that it adds the grid lines around the cells that I've selected. Next, I'm going to want to go up and center and bold the headings for each of the various columns. So I go to Align and center them, and I go back to Format and choose Bold. Now to add color to them, there are icons for changing the text color and the background color, but there's also an icon for swapping foreground and background. In this case, it's black text on a white background. So if I click this icon, it's now going to be white text on a black background very easy to do. Now, similarly, I can change the text and background for any of the cells or ranges, such as grand total. Here I can go in and make the font red and the background green. And then the last thing I want to do is add a title at the top. So I'm going to say 2010 marketing budget. And you can see that this wraps in the cell. So what I do is I select the range of cells to the right, and I go back to the move toolbar and I can choose to have the cell span across multiple columns. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it uh, larger and blue. And now I'm all done with my sheet. So I'm just going to click Save. And there we have it. So now I can share the spreadsheet with my colleagues. They can comment on it and they can update the information themselves. With Social Calc, we don't have the hassles of downloading files, managing multiple versions, renaming attachments, and clogging up our email system. Teams can now focus on important tasks and not be burdened by spreadsheet nightmares. So go ahead, start making your spreadsheets social today.